Hi. To edit in OpenStreetMap, you need to be logged into your account. When you are logged in, click the Edit button and then choose the first one. As you can see here, there's a lot of stuff on the screen that isn't digitized into the map. Not all the images in OpenStreetMap is current, so choose the most current one of your area. Now that you have the most current image of our area, we can start editing. We're going to digitize in this river. So we're going to zoom in a bit and choose the area tool. Areas are a collection of lines that connect to cover the area on the ground. For example, rivers, buildings, land use types, and so on. You follow the, the river bank with the area tool for as long a piece of you, as you want to digitize. As you can see, the river marking line isn't properly centered on the river. So after we've finished editing, we can move the river line to a more centered position. Now that we are finished with the little piece we are going to edit, on the one side, we move over the river and do the other river bank. If you make a mistake, you can choose the undo button to undo your points you just added. All of these points will combine to form your area. You can find the start of your area by following the line connecting your last point to the start. When you are busy with the area, you cannot stop in the middle and restart. If you accidentally double click, OpenStreetMap will think you are finished with the area and close it. If you then want to move your or add new points, you will have to double click on the line to add a new vertices, which is all of these points, to the line and move it into place. Here we have to zoom in to see if the river flows between the shore and this island. We can see it does, although it's very slim and narrow. Here you can see the river doesn't quite flows around this island, so we will digitize it in as an intermittent part of the river. Here we are connecting to another polygon or digitizing next to it. When you hover your cursor over the line, you will see little dots appear. This is the vertices on the other line or polygon. So you just click on the same places where they are to make a nice solid connection. Here 
Here you can see we are almost finished. When you are finished, you just double click and the polygon is completed. The river is a water feature. So you go into water features, water, type in river. Here we have an island in our river. So we click on polygon and we add the polygon. Now we soak in Iceland. This is not a big island, so it can qualify as an Iceland. Now we select both the river and the island. Right click and click merge. This will add the island and river into one polygon so that it shows connected. Here is another little island or not so little we just digitize it in now we must zoom in to see where the island stops because there is such a narrow gap between the shore and the island we have to zoom in more than we normally do when we just digitize the river or else the points will snap to those on the riverbank. You can see there is a bit of the island not included. So we double click here to create the vertices. Double click there. And then just shape it better. Select an island. Click on the river and add. Just remember your work is not saved, so before you leave the browser you have to save your work. Here you can see it's definitely part of the river but it's dry at the moment. So we'll add a bit of intermittent river. So we go to river, of water, and then river, enter, click here, delete that, then type in intermittent. Intermittent means that there isn't always water present in this part of the river. You can see here is another little place where it might be intermittent, so we just Click and follow the line. Choose water. Choose the river. Intermittent. It's complete itself. Yes. Okay, here we come to the large island. We Part of this island might be a sandbank. So we will add a bit of sandbank to it. Type in sand. There is sand. Let's include the rest of the island. If you made a mis make a mistake and 
find it out later you can always come back and edit your polygons just remember if you and someone else is editing the same polygon at the same time you will have a conflict you will have to resolve your conflicts before you can save your edits now we select both the sandbank, the islet and the river and click merge here you can see is both a large area of both an island and a piece of a river that might just not connect at the other part of the river. We can always add it like this. So we'll put in this water sliver. Zoom in. See there we made a mistake. We can just undo it quickly. Decide we're not gonna connect it. No, we can't connect it. There we are. Connect this little bit. Make a little narrow opening there. Zoom out a bit and just complete our digitizing. You can leave this island blank or you can cover it with an island polygon. You most likely would cover it with an island polygon just to keep it the same as all the rest we do. Go to river edit see that it has it there and it's done we can always just merge it like this now we can add the islands in at the middle You can see there it's not properly digitized, so we can go and move the polygon in a moment. Here just make sure you click the right vertices to add your data. Oops, another mistake. Just reverse. Okay, we've decided that this is, is a bit large for an islet, so we, after we edited this bit, let's just move it there. Okay, this one does not want to move, I wonder why. Ah, so there we go. I'll say that looks nice. Now we decide this one is a bit big for an islet, so we so we go to island. Here, this one we decide is also a bit big for an islet, so we change it to island. You can always just merge this two. Well. Okay. Now here we might have a little bit 
of intermittent river so we just add it in the river intermittent when you have small streams you do not have to use polygons you can just add them in as a streamline here you can see we have a quite a large bit of intermittent river So we can just more or less locate the, the riverbank. We normally see it by the shade it casts. And just move around it sometimes. There is some agriculture in the area. Then you just leave the agricultural bit out and digitize it later. Always do an error check on your area by using other sources, either visiting the area or go and look at maps later or ask people from the area if it's correct. You can always later come back and change some of the edits you made. Just be careful that very large edits can't always just be deleted. You can zoom in again just to see that these vertices align. And double click to close the polygon. Choose water, choose river. Intermittent. Sometimes the app will just complete your words for you if you type it correctly. Now we just go down the river but we to add the next island. Zoom out a bit. Close island and merge. You don't specifically have to merge these as well, but you can. Okay, here you can see the sandbank. So you just You see, I made a little mistake. I maybe should not have merged those two. So you just do click undo. And there the river is. Correct again. Now let's do the sandbank. And Click sand. There's a little Iceland. Mark it as an Iceland. Click and merge. 
Let's see here my little mistake. There we go. Sometimes the river just changes colors after you add a few features, but it doesn't make any difference on how it displays on the map. Select it and merge it again. We are almost finished with our river. Here's another little sandbank. Or it appears not really, so we can just select it and delete it. Okay, this is part of the river we can add later. Now to save the river, click there, the save button. You need to type a little description. See, there is a spell check. It just choose the correct words. If you want someone to review your edits, you can mark it. Otherwise, just click upload. Oh, sorry, update. What is upload? Yeah, sorry, upload. Now we just wait. OpenStreetMap to upload our data. It will take a while and just remember if you now go to OpenStreetMap your data might not be there already. It sometimes will take about an hour. As you can see here our data it, we just uploaded isn't there. But if you click the edit again You can see the data is there, it has just not been uploaded to OpenStreetMap yet. It normally takes about an hour. Let's see if we can find a little line feature. It's a lot of roads that is right line features. But roads need to be connected to one another. See, so here we are on the old image again. So every time you leave edit and enter edit, you need to switch back to your new image or the image you were working on. Here you can see is a round cropland or as an open street map farmland. This road is not a national road. It's mo it looks like an unmaintained little road. So we digitize it more or less around the circle. Most farm roads are classified as unmaintained roads. We can connect it. Go to roads. Unmaintained, unmaintained track or road. It's a dirt road. So we choose dirt. We can put in this little piece here. Unmaintained road. D for dirt road. There we have a circle. You can see it's not very 
really doesn't look very accurate. But we will fix it in a moment. Now we add our... Oops, there's a mistake. Farmland in. You can see there the road and the farmland doesn't meet, so we just skip that part. You can see this circle doesn't look very nice. So we do create circle. But now you will say, but the circle doesn't match the fe ground features. So we just go and move in the little parts that doesn't match. The create circle is a nice and quick way to create circles. It's much more accurate to use it than to struggle to connect the circle by the hand. We select our polygon, type in farm for farmland, select it. Because these are um, annual crops, we don't always know what the farmer is planting there. So we just select, don't put it anything. Now we just save it and put in farmlands and roads. You can see I've already added a lot of farmlands and roads. So it saves it for... Maybe you just save it. And there we completed our edits. Just remember, if you are s zoomed out too far, you cannot edit. You have to be close in to the map to edit. Thank you. Okay, now you can see here's a part of the river we digitized just now. When you go to the normal map view, come on. I say there. You can see that this part already have been added. We are still waiting for this little part and that little part to be added to OpenStreetMap. But in due course they will be added. Okay, now we return to OpenStreetMap and see here is the whole part we edited Add it to the map. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.